Okay, so um, Evo Devo is uh, evolutionary developmental biology, and it's one of these ideas that people say is new, but really it's hundreds of years old and it's just come back into vogue recently. Um, I'm not really sure why they call it Evo Devo. I tried to look that up. Maybe Evo Devo because it rhymes. I think it does have something to do with the band Devo. Um, oh wait, let me start again. You can sort of forget uh, that elaborate explanation for a bit because Evo Devo is really just about how genes work. The sort of old view of how genes work is that a gene is a, a blueprint for making a particular part of an animal. So if there's a million different kinds of animals out there, then there should be a million different kinds of blueprints, but it's not really the case. It turns out that even in two species that look completely different, like a mouse and a housefly, they both have the same gene that says make an eye. So how come the results are so different? The basic idea is simple. Genes aren't blueprints, they're switches. Individually, they don't do much. But if you have a master switch that can turn on other switches in groups, then you can do something useful. By plugging different combinations of stuff into the same master switch, you can get different useful results that fit different needs. So that gene that says make an eye is just like this power strip. It switches other genes on in groups so that something useful can happen, like growing an eyeball. And depending on the combination of those other genes, the end result might look like this, or like this. But the master gene is always the same. And that's the connection between Evo and Devo, which lets us understand both much better. Want to grow a body part or develop? You hit the master switch. Want to change a body part to fit a different need or evolve? Mix up the plugs. And that wasn't so hard, was it?